The Kitsune Devil Fruit is the strongest devil fruit in Blocks Fruits. Let me tell you why. But first, really, really quickly, guys, thank you for a million subscribers. This is not my celebration video or anything like that. I do have a live stream scheduled. Life is just a little hectic right now, so I put it off so we could do it properly. There'll be free stuff. There'll be a spin the wheel. There might be some guests. There might be some extra special things. I'm just getting it all ready. If you're new here, make sure you press like, subscribe, comment down below. I'm going to pick one commenter and give them the permanent Kitsune fruit. All we need to do is get over 7,000 likes on today's video. So things with blocks fruits have been pretty wild. And I will be the first to say, I think this one... This one might be a little bit delayed. This is the Kitsune plus something else right here. This might be a little bit delayed. A lot of people say like, oh, Blocks Roots, everything's always late. The content creators, they just pretend it's meant to be that way. I will admit it might be a little bit late because this Devil Fruit here is meant to come out at Christmas by the looks of this. We're already in December. It might be running a little late, but these things happen. Indra did say literally yesterday that this is the most effort they've put into any devil fruit in the game which means it's understandable that it's late i don't know what this extra little bit is here it might be just some improvements or whatnot this looks like a proper end of year like new year's update with this devil fruit being maybe probably not celestial is it the great one devil fruit it's one of the fan fruits which you can find on their discord if you want to go look at them we've got the kitsune fruit in game right here as well held by indra we've also seen this kit had it on one of his live streams he was able to hold the fruit he wasn't able to eat it but he could hold it which was i mean that's very cool it's a very cool way to drum up hype indra really wants you to be excited for this devil fruit it has been a long time in the making we can see looking at this old image this is from february last year that's how long sometimes these things can take but we did get the sound fruit it wasn't a rare but we did get the sound fruit in the end. And although I can't just pull up the image and show you it, all of the sound fruits moves have the same names as what was recommended by like the person who designed the devil fruit. So these contest winners, their exact fruits are being added into the game, which means if we go from here, I think this great one, which is insane. If there's a great one fruit, I'm going to be so happy. I think that is in fact this fruit right here, but I could be wrong. But here is the Kitsune fruit. So type beast cost is 4.5 million and the rarity is mythic. Now we can see the accursed enchantment. We can see the claws of burning agony, the path of embers, firefox disruption, and then the transformation for the fox. How do we know that this is all like correct and that they've used all of this from the artist who who won the competition right here is indra using one of the abilities which is called fox fire disruption which is the final move right here the c move so we're gonna get multiple versions of all of these of course but we do know that this is probably what we're getting so we're getting a claw style attack which means maybe something like the scarlet tear we've seen a claw attack recently the accursed enchantment could be honestly a little bit like the rhapsody notes where like you throw out some flames i don't expect it to play exactly like that we could also see something a little bit like fire bullets it could be a shot like that or because it says enchantment maybe it's something that is going to appear around you like in that video of NU's. And uh, you might be able to click to shoot them or something. So that's a cursed enchantment. We just talked about the claws. As for Path of Embers, it's an F move. So it's a movement skill, right? So it's probably pretty safe to say that it's going to be like your ice skating. Or it's going to be... Honestly, it's probably... With Magma having its own movement skill. With Ice having its own movement skill. It probably is... Path of Embers is probably going to be what you would have expected for the Flame Fruit. But because the flame fruit can fly, it never got its own like movement damaging skill. So I'm going to expect because it's a fox, it's probably going to be closer to like ice skating. It'll probably move pretty quickly, which is exciting because slow fruits are a lot harder to use and it's harder to tell how strong they are. And then obviously right here, we're seeing the fox fire disruption, which he's got these little flames around him to do with his tails, which is uh could be the accursed enchantment something to do with keeping the incursed enchantment up 
might have something to do with maintaining your tails because we've seen in another image here that we've got this tails bar which you must be able to fill up to get more tails and get stronger i'm also thinking that this is probably another version of that disruptor like it seems like you're hitting them. Like this is the skill used when it misses, right? The other one might be this disruptor used when it hits. Now, what's interesting about the tails thing is we already know they've been messing with this sort of stuff for a little while now. If we look at the sound fruit, you can already see this idea of maintaining your tempo meter in order to get like buffs. So when we hit our tempo meter to full, you guys know this, we turn gold, but we can maintain our tempo by using skill. Oh, actually, you have to hit with the skills. Is this guy here? He's not here. I'm gonna lose my tempo. All right, here we go. Tempo meter is full. It starts going down, but then if we hit someone, it goes back up, and I'm kind of expecting something very, very similar to this, where you've got to maintain your tails to do maximum amount of damage. And this isn't something that's unusual for the game. We've seen this before. If you're very good with the spirit fruit, you don't have to look at this bar here. You just kind of know the tempo and you know when you can summon the homies that you want. You get used to it. You have to maintain this rhythm or this tempo because I don't know if you know this, but all fighting games are actually just rhythm games. And that is true for this as well. The rhythm of your fruits is their usage and then their cooldown times. That is a rhythm. People who have a good sense for these things or people who practice a lot, they don't have to look down over here to see their abilities and whether or not they're available because they're already good with it. They, they know it intuitively. And I'm expecting the tails to function very similarly to that. Let's have a look at some of the other images here that we have from Indra. The fox looks cool. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I don't love it. But I think that's because it's not in game yet. And I'll say to you, a lot of people have been saying this as well. They don't necessarily like the way that it looks. But I will tell you right now that I believe that this Phoenix probably doesn't look that amazing when you take a screenshot of it in a studio. You can tell that it's kind of good, but it doesn't look super amazing until everything is moving. This is this looks a little bit better than the Fox when it's completely still probably but i think once the fox has all of its effects and it's lighting and it's animated then it's gonna look sick i will let them cook boys i know the individual photos don't look that crazy but just let them cook i also believe that this red bit here is meant to be like their own version of that smoke cloud effect that like luffy and yamato and that have in one piece other than that screenshot, obviously, we can go back to this one where you can see the symbols, the Japanese symbols for Fox. We got the fruit being held by Indra. Like, this looks really good. I like the little ears on it. This is going to be a great fruit to find in the world. It's going to stand out from a distance. This might not necessarily matter to the rest of you because a lot of you don't do devil fruit farming like I do, but I grind a lot of fruits. And the ones that look like this, like the blue ones that are bright, they're so good to find because you can tell. You can see them from a distance. My fave is probably Portal. Portal is so good to see from a distance and uh, Kitsune is going to be the same. Yes, I changed from saying Kitsune and Kitsune because some people want to hear it properly. Some people are silly and they just want to hear the word Kitsune. Coming back to this image, guys, to finish the video. Here's the plus ships bit right here, correct? Which I think is the fixes that they did to the ships or were they meant to add they fixed ships so that your momentum is consistent with a moving boat i don't know if that's what this update was meant to be but if that's what it is that's done this is our next thing indra has been saying stuff a lot in like the last seven days i'm thinking maybe this weekend next weekend by mid-december i think we'll see this update or by, say, the 20th of December, going right into Christmas, we might see both of these fruits and these three question marks all come out as the Christmas event. I wouldn't mind that. I'll wait and you can release it all at once. That'd be kind of cool. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Do you want to wait until like Christmas time and get a big update with maybe two fruits and a couple of things like a Christmas shop? We'll have a new event and so on. Or would you rather see something like this weekend and then at the end of December? What are your honest thoughts on the Kitsune Fruit Boys? I think it'll probably be the strongest fruit in the game for a little bit. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. The, well, the Doe Fruit got a little nerf, right? Like the Doe Fruit is still so easy to use. Hopefully, hopefully the Kitsune or Kitsune can finally defeat the Doe Fruit as the strongest Devil Fruit.